Did you know that a single snake bite can kill an elephant in just a few hours? And if you're not careful, snake venom can kill you in only 15 minutes. But that's from a venomous bite. What if the venom was already collected and you took a swim in a pool full of the stuff? What would swimming in venom be like? How would snake venom affect your body? And could this actually be good for you? This is what if, and here's what would happen if you fell into a pool of snake venom. So, how many snakes would it take to fill a swimming pool with venom? An average swimming pool has at least 100,000 liters of water in it. On average, a venomous snake can produce anywhere from 1 to 850 milliliters of venom. So, in order to fill up an entire pool with snake venom, it would take hundreds of thousands of snakes. To get the venom, you'd have to milk the snakes. Yep, you can actually milk a snake for its venom. Okay, now that we have our pool filled with venom, what would happen once you jumped in? You'd probably notice that swimming in snake venom isn't very different from swimming in water. When venom is in the snake's fangs, it's about as thick as ketchup, but once it's extracted, the viscosity lowers. This makes it easier for the venom to flow into the prey's bloodstream. So an entire pool full of the stuff won't feel all that different from swimming in water. And what about the smell? Well, it won't really smell like anything. And if you happen to accidentally taste the venom, it would taste like a somewhat sweet, almost tangy version of water. But wait, when do you die? I mean, this is what if, after all. Here's a surprise. If you were to swim in snake venom, there's a good chance you wouldn't die. The reason is, is that you're swimming in something that's venomous rather than poisonous. You see, Poison is something that can harm you if eaten, inhaled, or touched. But venom needs to be injected into you through a wound. So swimming in venom wouldn't really do anything to you. That is, unless you have any open wounds. If you did go in this pool with any sort of cut, then you'd be in some big trouble. The venom would quickly seep into your veins and would give you a number of issues, mainly blood clotting. What was once liquid is now a thick, jelly-like paste. Blood clots would form, eventually clogging your blood vessels, which would then lead to you dying from a stroke or heart attack. But if you're lucky enough only to get a few drops of venom in your bloodstream, you might be okay. That is, if you manage to find medical assistance relatively quickly. In the US, roughly 7,000 people are bitten by a snake every year. Of those people, only five end up dying. On average, you'd have about 30 to 60 minutes to get some help. Once you find it, the doctor will give you an anti-venom treatment and perhaps a tetanus shot. Then you can jump right back in the pool. Just make sure you don't have any cuts on your body this time. But maybe we shouldn't be swimming in this stuff anyway, even if it does no harm. Perhaps it could be used for something else. Scientists are doing research to find out if snake venom can be used as medicine such as for Alzheimer's disease or to reduce tumors. So instead of playing in snake venom or being afraid of it, we could use it for good. After all, snakes are rarely trying to hurt us and most snake bites come from people bothering the reptiles. But what would happen if snakes suddenly grew to be massive and all of them wanted to hurt us? Well, that sounds like a story for another what if.